Chelsea United left Chicago with a point this weekend after a scoreless draw. Mateusz Klick said that they knew it wasn't going to be a pretty game, but as head coach Wayne Rooney said, it was important that we got the clean sheet. I caught up with Tyler Miller after training today to talk about his first shutout of the year. Oh, it feels nice. Uh, getting the first one off the board is always a great feeling. And I think it's something that we've been working so hard towards uh, for the first six games of the season. And so it's a collective effort always when we get a clean sheet. And I think everybody on our team should take pride in it. And I think that we do. Um, so we're hoping to build off this momentum and really uh, take the same mentality into every single game now. There are several things to note from the game over the weekend. Donovan Pines played his first game of the season. Jacob Green got his second career start playing out of position as DC's backline continues to battle through injuries. And all three DPs played together for the first time this season. And it's worth noting that according to Optisport, Christian Bendeke has won 53 aerial duels, 15 more than any other MLS player so far this year. I caught up with Clicky after training today, and here's what he had to say. Uh, yeah, it was a hard game. We, we decided to, to keep it long and uh, uh, just play on off the second balls. We uh, we try we wanted to try that. We need to we want to switch sometimes, and not only like try to build from behind, but also like use uh, Christian's presence at the front end. I think from the second balls we had a couple of chances. Taxi hit a post, uh, could have been penalty, and uh, it's good to see Taxi back. It's the first time we play together, and uh, yeah, as I said, I think if we we manage to get everyone's fit as soon as possible, it's going to be better for us because um, we have a good team. Coming up this weekend, DC United will host the Columbus Crew, who are on a roll right now. They've scored 10 goals in just the past two games, and there's been six different goal scorers. The advantage that DC has is that they've already played the Crew this year, so they know what to expect. I asked the players what they remember from that game that will be useful heading into this Saturday. They're a very difficult team. I mean, they're they're scoring whenever they want to at this at this point in the season, and so. Uh, we know that they're going to come out firing and we know that we have to shut down Zeller on in the middle and uh, but even if you take him away they have other dangerous players as well so it's going to be a, a similar game where we have to be fully locked in for f the full 90 minutes and it's going to take uh, all 11 guys and as well as the, the players that come off the bench to, to really get this job done on Saturday. Obviously top front three very dangerous uh, and they, uh, they, they want to play possession football and uh, yeah, we, we know what we did wrong against them in the first game, so it's maybe better that we play them quick because uh, personally I want to you know, have a revenge because uh, yeah, I don't want to lose football games and uh, we didn't have to lose that game, we, we lost, but uh, yeah, they're a good team and uh, it's going to be a big challenge, but uh, yeah, that's, 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 that's what I like, I like challenges. If all goes well with the visa process, DC's newest signing, Lewis O'Brien, could be available for selection this weekend. And that's your first team report presented by Audi. Kickoff this weekend is set for 7.30 p.m. And if you won't be at Audi Field, you can catch the game on MLS Season Pass on Apple TV.